Okay, so now next to part two of the review. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the messaging application. And uh, as you can see, there is not much improvement compared to the old messaging application in uh, Android 2.5. And uh, the animation is still great with the darker theme. But uh, in overall, it looks great. And now, let's try some. Uh, let's try composing a message and uh, as you can see it's it's the default keyboard and I have to say that I'm, I'm not getting used to it because why? because um, it's uh, the T9 keyboard is I think is work okay but if I want to type it in an, another language for example my Vietnamese I think it is too difficult to me. Uh, anyway, it's uh, the old keyboard is just like my own Nokia phone. So here, I introduce you the Vietnamese input method. Basically, it has the very same function that the EGC keyboard has. And uh, it looks pretty the same, though. Okay. And uh, well, um, it also has uh, the ability to type Vietnamese. <laughs> okay, I have to say that um, typing through the camera is not as easy as the uh, typing normally but the problem is uh, the default messaging application doesn't support the um, landscape mode and uh, it makes the typing on the phone much more difficult so I mm, here I suggest you use the this one the hand sent SMS and as you can see it supports landscape mode pretty well typing in this mode is really a pleasure however this keyboard has one disadvantage is the the T9 or I don't know what to say the English dictionary it's not really good so if you are an English user I su suggest you use this one the multi touch keyboard from the Motorola Road X and uh, you can type much faster but be warned, um, the X10 Mini doesn't support multi-touch, so you can't use the multi-touch feature of the um, this keyboard. Okay, now so the next one I want to show you is the Arm Boom application. Uh, Okay, here it is. And uh, I am very disappointed to see that it's mm, it is the same as the album in the old one. Well, the we don't have multi touch, but uh, we have um, pretty nice zoom in and zoom out feature just by double tap yeah and um, it, ca it can be used easily with only one finger and pretty fast well I'm I'm really 
satisfied with the view picture but while well, the album is too sucks so I personally use the gallery you know from the HC desire on the Nexus one it has awesome animation and uh, it lists all of your folder instead of the album in X10 Mini mm, well however the viewing pictures in gallery is not as good as the default album one because uh, you don't have the uh, zoom in and zoom out easily because um, actually the gallery supports multi touch so it doesn't bother with the 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 double tap to zoom in zoom out yeah but um well in basically it, it is very nice application and I strongly suggest using it on the other hand the music is still the same nothing much to say about this and the video well I think having a pocket sized um, device to watch uh, movies is really comfortable and uh, as you can see the picture quality is uh, I think it's good it's not great because the screen is just CFC screen but uh, it is enough the control is really simple but uh, I don't expect much from this okay here is the camera application and um, I have nothing much to say about this because uh, this is quite simple you don't have much uh, control in this application but uh, well, as you can see the speed of the camera is really great and about the quality of the pictures I totally satisfy and um, as you can check my link about this here we have the browser and uh, I will say that mm, the browser is as good as uh, any mm, Android browser out there and um, unlike the X10 mini on Android 1.5 this one is uh, much like the original browser on the Android device now let's go to the phone site here it is and uh, well that is really bad that we don't have pinch to zoom and we can only use one finger mm, however the transition speed is really fast And uh, yeah, if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can use the button. Also, the rotation is re really good. This is amazing. And uh, you can also double tap to zoom in and double tap to zoom out. Now, let run the benchmark to see um, how strong this device can perform and here I use the quadrant benchmark now let's run full benchmark and see you back again for a while in the meantime I will run the benchmark again in my HC here and uh, compare the score Okay, so here it is. 
let's see how strong this device can perform and very amazing this device can perform nearly 500 and, um, and it's nearly as the ATC desire and uh, much faster than the um, Xperia X10 yeah you know the Snapdragon one I think the small resolution really helps this device on the other hand my ATC Hero only has nearly 200 and uh, it uh, is the lowest in the, in the chart well in conclusion I must say this one is truly a mighty little device and well see you next time